Hello, I'd like to start with a quote. This is from Han Shan De Qing. He lived in the 1600s in China. And he said, I glean what the harvesters have overlooked or rejected. Why are their baskets empty while mine is bursting with so much good food? They just didn't recognize their Buddha nature when they saw it. Everything in life depends on choices we make. So he's talking about um, contentment. I think contentment is, is really important. A lot of times we have trouble, we have so much trouble being happy in our lives even when things are going well. And I think that's what Han Shan is, is talking about here. And when he says they didn't recognize their Buddha nature, that's, that's our true nature. It's always there beneath the surface. We just tend not to see it sometimes. We get so hung up on things. Um, the writer Jack Kerouac wrote, I like too many things and get all confused and hung up, running from one falling star to another till I drop. This is the night, what it does to you. I had nothing to offer anybody except my own confusion. That's what we're doing in life a lot of times. We're too busy chasing falling stars and we don't see our true nature. We're, we're thinking about things we want and things we don't want all the time. We're consumed by greed and desire and we often don't face ourselves honestly. All these things obscure our true nature. I had some young Christian missionaries come to my door yesterday and we, I talked to them because that's what I do when people come try to sell me their religion. I do engage them and they asked me to summarize Buddhism for them because of course I, I told them I'm Buddhist and I said the idea behind it is if we just slow down and we just pay attention and we're just fully present and aware then we can see the world around us as it really is and we can see ourselves as we really are and that facing ourselves and our world honestly is really the best way to live it's really helpful it's really important it's really good and it brings a kind of kind of contentment a kind of feeling that everything's going to be okay even when things are bad i think we're always struggling with little things and big things all the time and so contentment is really important it's really important to feel like we're okay and a lot of things and events want to convince us that we're not okay that we need more that we need to just, just be unhappy and that's no good our true nature is always there uh, Trungpa Rinpoche called it basic goodness and I think a lot of people use that terminology now if I believed in divinity I'd call it divine spark. Throughout history, Buddhist teachers have called it Buddha nature. It's, it's a really important concept.